it's not the earthquake that kills people, it's the collapse of a poorly designed and built building. But the challenge in working in a developing country is that people usually don't have access to technology to be able to build safely. In most of the places build change works, the building technology is confined masonry. So there are very simple things that can be done to improve this way of this building loose, that don't right? cost a lot so of money and can be everything. easily implemented by local well, builders. Right a post-disaster reconstruction environment is such a huge opportunity to create change. But if you bring in something new, build that, and then it doesn't take off, it's not sustainable, then you've missed this huge opportunity to work with people to build with something that they're familiar with. Have you already talked to them about what they're going to need to do to fix that when they get up there? Making small changes to existing technologies is so much more sustainable than bringing in something new. The site itself is the biggest hazard here because they're building right next to other vulnerable structures. But this is one of the biggest challenges in Haiti. So it's like this, not, not like... We have a team of 15 trained Haitian engineers who go to the job site every day, sit down with the homeowner, discuss with them how they want to lay out their house, and then meet with the builder and provide hands-on training for the builder. We oui. okay, good, good. There's a lot of hope and optimism here in Haiti, and there's so much that Build Change can do here. So it's really exciting to see our program expand the way it has been lately. You have to be very careful with the water, because if you add too much... It's not one thing that, that makes the Build Change model sustainable. It's the model itself. We're targeting the entire construction ecosystem and creating better supply of builders and engineers to produce earthquake-resistant houses and creating a demand for that type of construction. Winning the Lemelson MIT Award for Sustainability is a huge honor, and mainly because sustainability is just so absent in yeah, post-disaster reconstruction. Right. And yeah, it will and help us convince it. other agencies to use more sustainable approaches. It will help us convince governments to put in building yeah. codes and systems that are easy to implement and more sustainable. So my advice to a young inventor would be to go to the field and to learn first. You can't design a gadget or any kind of invention independent of the environment in which it's going to be used. You have to go talk to people who are going to use it. You have to figure out how much it's going to cost. You have to understand how it's going to be produced and distributed. You have to understand why people aren't already using something like that in the first place.